It was expected that the seasonal flu would take a backseat to, to coronavirus this winter, but no one could have predicted the number of cases going as low as it did. LAX 18's Michael Burke takes an in-depth look at how the flu virus remained a non-issue through this entire season and how things could play out next time. After more than 700 lab confirmed cases in 2019-20, would you care to take a guess at the number of confirmed flu cases in Fayette County from this winter? This year, uh, 600. Lower. 300? Not even close. How about single digits? The last pre-pandemic number of documented flu cases in Fayette County stood at 742. For the 2020-21 flu season, that number plummeted to three. Now this is not a coincidence, it's science. And it led to a decline that no one could have predicted, or properly guessed. This is a massive decrease, and we believe there are many reasons that they've been quite a bit lower this year. Reasons such as hand washing, distancing, not gathering in large groups, and yes, mask wearing. The decline in flu cases is one reason why many say they'll keep them on, even as restrictions lighten at places like Kroger, where fully vaccinated shoppers can now enter mask free. I kind of feel weird going into the stores now without the mask, so I'm just not sure. I've had this mask on since last March, and I haven't been sick of time. Yeah. No strep, flu, yeah. you know, we just didn't see it in the schools this year because we have these masks on. Didn't see it at the health department either. And while keeping everyone in masks beyond the June 11th mandate expiration would be unrealistic at best, there's still things we can be doing that can continue to help. Hopefully people will continue following some of these guidelines next flu season. Because it wasn't just a viral infection like the flu bacterial infections like strep and ear infections dropped as well. Those aren't things that we track, but anecdotally, we know that those haven't been spread as much. And anecdotally, it's likely that guessing next year's flu number will be a little easier to do. Those will go back up this fall and winter. Those are expected, but we do hope people learn from what we have in place from COVID-19. Because preventing COVID spread helped contain that other virus this winter. The masks, yeah, so they do work. Who would have guessed in Lexington? Michael Burke, LEX 18 News. As you know, in Kentucky, masks will no longer be required beginning June 11th, but be prepared for some retailers to continue to ask that you wear them. Flu season runs from September to May, and as a whole, Kentucky did not have a very active season. The most activity we saw was back in October. A handful of counties in eastern Kentucky saw increased activity, but there were only 32 active cases at that time. In the state's most recent report, which came out the first week of May, we had zero active flu cases. So far, we have only had 184 for the entire state through the whole flu season. The story is much the same throughout the nation. Only one state reporting high flu activity over the past nine months. That's Iowa. You see it right there popping up in red. Well, they had more than 200 positive flu cases back in the first week of November. Other states have had moderate activity. It's also worth noting that in a typical year, we have more than 100 pediatric flu deaths nationwide. This flu season, there has been only one.